Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome! Thank you for supporting me and thank you for the lovely comments. I hope they keep on coming because I really do enjoy talking to you guys when you do leave a uh, message. I wanted to show you an update on the little Christmas tree that I started last year. I don't uh, think it's going to get massive but you know if it grows it's about a hair or so it'd be nice as a mini little tree but yeah it's still it's still going it's popping up quite nicely it looks healthy it's a really little sweetie to, to grow so um i love things like that but there's the update it's looking all right so today i wanted to do some lol stuff just purely because um doing something different really um instead of doing the whole bunch of different blind bags I thought hey let's just do a bit of lol so we've got the um what do you call it the confetti box this one here so we've got yeah confetti pop we have got the bubble surprise we've also got uh, a color change and I've got a couple of magazines guys when you go to the supermarkets do you always check out the magazine aisle they've always got some really cool things in there right and I thought, hey, why don't I just pick up a couple of magazines and we'll do it that way and then we can see. Um, so I thought, you know, obviously with the whole LL thing, I picked up a couple of these magazines. Now, if I'm absolutely honest, if I'm really honest, um, this one here I've had probably November, December last year. I just didn't get around to opening it because I wasn't sure how I was going to open it. So... Uh, that one's a bit older, so if you do see any dates on it, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, this one is recent though, so it's just got a couple of little bags of surprises in there, so that's why I thought I'd add to the mix of everything. So should we start with one of the magazines then? Let's start with the later one that I was um, telling you about. But yeah, if you go to the magazine aisle, you can get some really fair bit of items for children or adults, whatever. Um, and I love it when they do the blind bags like this or blind boxes because obviously you get more of a surprise. But um, yeah, I mean, I used to give these things to my son, um, not the LOL ones, but he used to have a lot of magazines when he was younger. So I don't tend to buy them now, but I just thought, go check it out. You can get some really interesting things. I mean, even if you're into craft work, it is super amazing what you can find to start craft if you really want to get into something that you... Um, you want to try that's new needlework whatever it's really good and christmas time has the best back uh, best magazines don't they because they've got all the craft things that you can do which is quite nice right let's just good grief okay so here it is here it's got some nice little goodies in there so I'm just going to strip this back really quickly and we'll just briefly go over the magazine. We don't have to like spend a lot of time on it, but I just thought that I would um, just show you guys. So, LOL surprise. I just, um, hmm, I'm trying to look, sometimes they have the months on there, but this one doesn't. But yeah, just your standard magazine. You've got your colour, you can write on it keeps you updated with what's new what you collect or whatever but I know some people even adults love magazines um, so it's just nice to have a quick look on it a lot of colouring in there and they always come with stickers normally so there's a whole page of stickers here um, which I love for stationary purposes to be honest but that's really nice and um, yeah you get the idea so anyway let's just open the little packages in there because that's what's more interesting okay so let's get into this how cute it's almost like i don't want to open them they're like little presents little presents okay <laughs> oh gosh um let's just, let's just do this There we go. We have no idea what's in here. Perhaps we're about to find out. Ooh, if you do this one here, have a little bow in it. It's quite heavy. Um, the thing I like about these is that you can you, you can reuse these and you can gift them to people. I've done that before and they're a very good idea actually. This one's got a bigger big bit of tape down there, so I don't know if that's gonna 
um, how that's going to affect the box. But normally you can recycle them. It's always good to. And come on, little one, because I do want to keep it. That's it. Okay, let's see. It's quite heavy. What have we got? Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like we've got a whole heap of erasers here. Um, wow, four. They're really, really big ones as well. That's probably why it's so heavy. So we've got this one here. Doesn't she look pretty? <laughs> and a disco ball. A snowflake. A diamond, I suppose. And the thickness is like that. So yeah, decent uh, erasers. Very good, okay. So let's get this long one. And um, once again, it's a shame they've sealed them in the way they have because they're just a little bit tricky. If I destroy it, I will just bin it, but it would be nice to reuse it. Or maybe, well actually, this has got like a LOL doll on it. I might not reuse this one, but I definitely will with some of the other ones, I think. Oh, wow, he's got a pen. That's so fab. And oh, nice. And it's got all those colours on there. I really like those pens that have got all different colours. And it's, it's decent as well. It's not like, you know, it's not a crappy pen. You know how some pens have got their feel about them? This is definitely okay. But um, yeah, so far, the pen and the rubbers are erasers. Sorry, we're depending upon what country you're from. We say rubber, you say razor. Um, they're quite good. So let's check this one out. It's feeling a bit more rattly. I'm wondering if it's so far. It looks like a stationary thing going on. These magazines that you can buy, they're not the cheapest, but it's probably because of the con some of the contents they give you. It's not the cheapest, you know. I mean, you're looking at like five to six quid for a, a magazine. Um, come on. Oh, wow. You've got, oh wow, look at that. That's so pretty. And that's the mirror on the back there. That's so cool. Oh, I've got to your keys or your bag. And I say it feels soft. LOL surprise OMG outrageous millennial millennial girls no I can't say that what is it M millennial oh good grief okay um oh well okay so it's like a little um pocket mirror for your handbag I suppose if you're a girl and that one's a bit more flimsy you can see the plastic but okay nice and let's see, we've got one more here. Oh gosh, are we opening all that many already? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so five. I thought it was about six in here. Um, let's get you open. And, oh, a scrunchie. How neat. There's a picture there. That's really neat. Nice. Okay. So that had some really little fun things in there, didn't it? Well, I thought so. And a bonus of keeping those and reusing them, if you want. Okay, let's see. Let's do that other magazine, just because we can get them out of the way. No, that's the one that we've just done. <laughs> I need the other one. Okay, so this is the other one. Right. Okay, so once again, five surprises. 90 stickers. And... Is that the same brand as the other one? Oh, it is. I just realised that one there is the same. So that must have been a later copy and that might be like the newer one. Well, I tell you what, if LL does that to all the magazines, they're pretty good stuff in here, to be honest. Well, I think, anyway. I think that's quite nice. Right, let's just get into this one. Oh goodness me, seriously. Right, I'm just going to um, 
sort of from that one. Back the edge. Okay. Do you guys want to look at the magazine? Or oh, you're not fast. I guess it's the same sort of idea, isn't it? I'm just going to briefly flip to the stickers because I do like stickers. So it'd be quite nice to, to see. Oh, okay. So they pretty much are the same as the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Same, same, what you know, same things. Right. So this one, it's quite a cute little package. It's quite nice that they did the other one the boxes and then this one's the package so that they're um, changing it a bit. So they're not looking too boring, are they? Unless the other one was like a Christmas theme, it might have been. Um, okay, let's see. We have got. Oh wow. Okay. Is this all going to be stationary themed? Okay, so we've got this um, notebook. It's really colourful, it's really pretty. Uh, oh wow, yeah, okay, so it's like a to-do list really, isn't it? You could use it for a shopping list or whatever. Um, but you know what, that's actually quite nice. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> the colour's really good. So yeah, it's a spiral one too, which is nice. Okay, what else we get? We saw like a pencil popping up. We have got another eraser with a pencil. Okay, so yeah, we're going stationary. Again. Look at the thickness of that one. Um, very nice. Okay, and we have got another pen. Oop. I love pens. I my nana used to um, collect pens. And she had this massive big. I don't know what it was. I want to call it a trough. But it's not a trough because it's not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> but she had this um, unit when you opened it and it was full of pens. She used to collect pens and I always remember that. I've always loved stationery anyway, but I always remember her pen collection. This one's got like um, hearts broken on it. So, hmm, that's a shame. So yep, yeah, there's a pen and little notelets. And it looks like one of the animal LOLs that you can get. So, there's quite a few pages in there, so I'd imagine that but they'll be sticky. That's quite sweet, actually. Um, I'm just thinking, is that five things? I guess it would be for the razor, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay. So, stationery. So I wonder if all their bags are stationery, I don't know, but, um, you know, if you're into your stationery and you like lots of it, or like giving away lots of it, Go to the supermarket and check out the magazine range. All right, so let's go for let's go for LOL bubble surprise. Okay, like <laughs> I can just hear it in my voice. I've done one of these before, and I'm thinking, please work. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. Um, just briefly remembering what to do. You pour water in the capsule and let it fizzle. I can't remember if it's cold water or warm water, but Let's check it out and see. And let's hope that. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm taking off the instructions there. Oh, let's go down that way. Oh God. gosh, look at that. It's got a little pulley there anyway. Um, yeah. Oops, yeah, I am pulling it off. Okay. Oh gosh, me and packaging. Oh, good grief. Honestly. Oh guys, no, seriously. <laughs> oh, I've started to destroy the packaging in there. So yeah, that's right. Break the heart and pour the water in, isn't it? Is it cold or warm? What does that say? 80, 98 Fahrenheit, 37 Celsius. So I mean, off actually what we need to do is remove the, the, this part because <laughs> it's not going to work there is it okay so let's remove that and then i'll take the heart off and pop it back and then we'll do the water i pop that back on and then i can't remember do you it did it did say didn't it Why does that happen? 
I actually, it's misleading a little bit because it's got the um, like the uh, crack in the heart there. So you just naturally assume it's going to break, but just flip it up. That's, that's funny. Right, so we'll just, let's stick some water in there. All right, so water we go. Give us some bubbles. You see it sinking down. Oh yeah, it's doing something. She says, <laughs> looking forward. Yeah, there's something. There's some type of movement. I just can't see it entirely. Can you see that? It's like a bath bomb. It's that kind of um, substance, isn't it? A substance? What do you call that? Bath bomb? Okay. Am I missing something here? Shake it. Shake it. Shake it up. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Let's just have a look at the instructions again. Oh right, so I think what it's saying is to actually put the water right at the top. I wasn't entirely sure though, so I'm just going to add some more because it does say stop at the line there. Um, ooh. Okay, I think that's a bit more effective than what I had done the first time around. Um, it should be bubbling though. Why is it not like bubbling like a bubble bath? Why do they say it's like a bubble bath that's not doing bubbly things? Okay, I can see something going on. And then we should get our doll out, shouldn't we? I've just put some tissue paper down because it was starting to get a little bit too wet. But I realised on the pamphlet it does say um, someone's got it's, there is a tray, which is a really good idea. Pop, pop something underneath it. <laughs> um, do you know what? First time I've done this bubble one, I have problems trying to get it bubbly, like a bubble bath, so to speak. This is the same. I don't know if it's something I'm not doing right. Um, I followed the instructions. It's just not um, overly bubbly like I would have thought. But however, I'm just going to do this because it's not effectively working. And then I'm just going to pull it apart so we can get the doll out. It's just a shame that it's not oh, animal. I can't remember. Ooh, <laughs> I can't remember what it was, if it was animal or not. So yeah, let's just, let's do it this way and we can open it. So here we go. And yeah, I would have loved to see that like a bit more bubble, but oops. Wow. Yeah, definitely get trays and, and bowls because it's going to be more helpful. So let's just pop her, pop her out there, pop her all of that into the container like that. See? And then I can show you better. Right, so I do like the fact that these are in plastic, so it does uh, keep them, supports them a bit better. Um, so our little one is this little one here. Here she is. Oh my goodness, that's very cute. She looks like that. And. That's right, they always come with a, an accessory or something, don't they? Is this a donut again? What was, can I just say, what's with the donut theme? Why did they put like little LOL dolls with donuts? And it's got the cat. Oh, that's really sweet actually. Yeah, why do they? And this one here is. Little handbag, is it like a cake handbag? That's very, very cute. So yeah, they have a there she is with the handbag handbag. <laughs> the handbag I'm assuming. And the little donuts. So there you go. Shame about the bubbles. Shame about the bubbles. But hey ho, you still get something cute out of it. Okay, so while I'm dealing with water, let's do the other water one, the colour change surprise. Hmm, please, please, please do what it says. <laughs> I'm not having much luck with these little capsules. But then, what did I pay for them? I think they're about £4. 
four pound, I think. Just catch all. Okay, we have to reveal her all and then is there a sticker? Oh, I think it's a colour change thing, isn't it? One, two little blind bags. Okay, keep that capsule because oh I just realised that we didn't go over the pamphlet over the, the um what we had. Oh, okay, let's just do that really quickly. Sorry guys, I completely forgot. So that bubble changer one, that didn't bubble. <laughs> um, so we got, I really forgot about that. Um, am I missing anything that I can do? Oh, okay, they, they all can cry or spit water from the mouth anyway, can't they? So that's just standard with these guys, but um, yeah, where are we now? She... Oh, here she is. She's Little Miss uh, Hatter. And she's a star. Oh, sorry guys. And she's from the Theatre Club. Um, she's the Grey Star, which means what? It means she's fancy. Ah, fancy. Fancy that. Right, going on to our colour change one. That's the pamphlet, we need that one after. So, so let's move that one and let's just open this one first and then we'll put some water in the capsule. I think this feels like the doll. Ah, yep, so here she is. Oh my goodness, she is so sparkly. Whoa. This one here is looking familiar. I'm beginning to wonder if I've done this one before. Oh, or I've done I've definitely done something with the same kind of sparkly pink here. I mean, when you do unboxing, after a while, things do may become quite rep repetitive. But if I have done it, um, maybe not this exact one, but I've definitely done an LOL. Yes, I know where I'm going with this. I did one of those ones that stand on the, um, what do you call that, the, oh my gosh, I'm lost for words guys, help me out, what is that, vending machine, the vending machine one I did, and one of the dolls had that colour here, maybe that's where I'm going with that, alright, sorry, digress, <laughs> um, we've got the chain, to put on the top of your capsule, does anybody actually do this? Do you actually carry them around? Or do you know children that can carry them around? Nice concept. And this definitely feels like the handbag. Ooh, very smart. Oh, wow. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> if you're a handbag person, you'll like them in mini as well. <laughs> I'm very much a handbag person. Actually, I prefer handbags over shoes. That's cool. Okay, so then we can um, fill out of water and see a glass that she's got. Ooh, okay. Ta da! Ooh, okay. So let's fill this with water. Um, we'll pop her in. watery things going on today in there right in there you go love please change color we would like to see bob up and down, bob up and down. I can't remember what changes color the nappy she's just having a nice little swim there she okay um where are okay I put her in and what changes then? Her eyes, is it? Her eyes and her... Oh, she cries from the eyes. What 
what's changing? What colour changed then? What? No, she can't cry from the eye, can she? It looks so tiny. Is that even possible? Even for something that small? Um, oh, for goodness sake, why aren't you changing colour? Is it the eyes? I'm not having much luck with the whole colour change um, LOLs, am I? No, nothing's happening, but I don't have the best luck with these. I try and avoid them. Um, the sticker. Um, so it's Star Plus the, the head of the baby. But Okay. Alright, so now we know that. Congratulations! <laughs> Just not doing anything. Okay. I don't know what it is about um, these dolls. They're really like slimy. Um, I don't know if it's because I had, we've just done that bubble one, but I thoroughly did clean it, dry it rather, and wash my hands, but I still got that feeling. Um, are we doing anything wrong here? Or am I rather? No, I put it in the water. Nappies, that's right, yeah. So it's normally like a nappy thing, isn't it? And that changes something about the eye. Maybe she just soaks up, soaks up the water. And the bow or something. Well, yeah, something like that, isn't it? Well, guys, she's not changing colour at all. Um, as far as I'm concerned, she went in pink. She's still pink. The, wa the water, the one I did before with the bubbles, that was warmish water. This is coldish water. It's not as warm as the other one. So maybe that's the reasoning. If that's the case, I'll change it over. Just see if it does change with the effect of the water. Okay, guys, I just had to bring you in to show you this. The worst thing has happened, I kid you not. I'm not a plumber and there's no way I'm gonna get it out or be able to. I've tried to get it out. So when I was trying to get some water, I obviously had the little LOL doll in the dish. And of course I went like this. And yeah, she fell down the sink, I kid you not. There is a plug that's supposed to be in there and it happens not to be. So um, yeah, I tried very much to try and get out and she's gone, so oh my goodness, I can't believe this. But I just wanted to film it just to show you that actually the worst thing just happened. <laughs> so she's in there somewhere. I just can't get to her, so I'm gonna have to leave it um but yeah i just wanted to show you our little doll she's gone down another sink she's gone down the plug hole <laughs> um it is what it is so yeah that was a bit unfortunate what happened to that little doll uh rest in peace lol because i'm not going to get you back and the weird thing was it was it just happened to be the right side that went down that plug hole and i tried i had a couple um i had a knife and a spoon and all sorts and at one point it did look like I was going to budge, but I think I, I might have just pushed it further. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Um, so yeah, we've only got those left, the handbag and the glasses. The what if, the what was rather. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just take a look at the pamphlet to see what she, who she was. Um, but yeah, I can't believe that, especially when you're filming and that happens. I mean, you just couldn't make that up, could you? <laughs> Um, she had pink hair with a headband on, didn't she? Gosh, after this, I hope she was in the rear. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay. Right, so I was looking at the wrong pamphlet, wasn't I? Do you know what? This isn't going so well today, is it, guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Moving on, let's just find out who she was. <laughs> oh, there she is there. So she was a um, little Madam Queen. Absolutely little Madam Queen, because she's gone done one. And she was a star. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she was a rear, guys. She was a rear. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she is rear and she's gone. She's like, you know, she's just... A decided to disappear on us so yeah she was that one <laughs> so now we know so we've lost our little our um lol rear down the plug hole oh my goodness can't make it up okay so there's that one was that one 
Got to say whilst now, she's gone. Unless my husband can get in there and sort it out, I don't know. But, um, you know, we'll um, mention it to him a little bit later when he comes home from work. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, so let's do the last and the big one. Let's hope this one doesn't disappoint. Um, this has just turned out to be a really funny video, actually. So, confetti pop. I do like these. Um, so let's see who we get in here, shall we? I might just change the angle. Not the other angle, that's it. Um, we'll do it that way. Okay, so. Whew. <laughs> we lost a rear down the rear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, this is so funny. Oh man. Um, okay, this is just going to fling, isn't it, from memory, I think. So I think it doesn't really matter how you open it, I think. Let's just do this bit here. Eight surprises in this one. By the way, those other small ones that we just unboxed, they are um, series one on those. Right, confetti's gonna go everywhere in a second, isn't it? Well, that's what it should do. Right, let's go. Come on, here we get. <laughs> um, hey! Did you see that? Hopefully. So we've got that element of surprise. So it all went flying. You know what? It doesn't matter what you unbox. And when you unbox something that's got confetti in it, it still gives you a fright. <clears throat> what gave me fright, just slightly. Right, let's see. Let's pull her out. Okay, just checking there. Empty box, all good in the hood. <laughs> I still can't believe that one's gone down the drain. <laughs> that was a rear. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got our pamphlet. And all our goodies. Let's remove all that and then we can check out what our goodies are. This feels like the gold, so. Oh my goodness, she's so smart. She's so lovely actually, look at that. She is adorable. Oh, I love the color and the hair. Oh, so nice, so, so nice. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. And her famous bottle. And her shoes. I think on one of my unboxings on Al Al, I think one of the shoes was missing, which is a bit disappointing. But I think even after what's happened today, <laughs> I think I should avoid doing <coughs> LOL. Because you know, I'm not having very successfulness with these guys, these, these dolls. That's really lovely. So I think I might just um, after today. This is it, guys. I'm not going to do some more LOL. Saying that I will, but obviously I'm not going to do some of it. I think I'll avoid the little ones. Um, it looks like what it looks like she's going to go out in the snow. You know, it's like one of those kind of huggy things that go around your neck. Like one of those really fluffy sc scarves. And her outfit. Ooh, very sparkly. Oh my gosh, check those 70 trousers out. <laughs> and the little top. Right, let's put that on her anyway. So let's dress her up. It's also come with this little box, which is quite cute. So, I mean, that's quite sweet, really. It's like a little present. Mm. I need to do that up in a second, but let's put the outfit on her. <clears throat> because she's looking pretty cool. So, fit those on her there, like so. She's such a lovely colour. I don't know if the camera can pick it up that well, but the colour is really, really nice. Um, really nice blue. Um, put the top on, and then we'll check her out and see what she is. <clears throat> Please don't be a rare. Uh, 
Because we just lost one. Um. Oops. It kind of molds, doesn't it? So you don't really have to put it on. On. Uh, there we go. Oh no, maybe you do. Oh, I've got the other one, the other side on, just not with that one. Why isn't that not like? I mean, you can actually take some of the, the heads and arms off, can't you? But oh, that had to really stretch that one around her. But we got it on anyway. And um, we need the little shoes. They look like sweets. They look like little jelly sweets you want to put them in your mouth. Um, okay, let's put this on and then. Yep, and then the other one. Looking good, girl! Looking good! I don't know whether you're going to a disco or not. Um, a little fake furry kind of. Um, scarf looking thing. Maybe it just sits like that, yeah. And isn't she cool? I I must admit, I think she's one of the nice ones that I've seen, to be honest. I think she's really pretty. She's got her a famous bottle and oh yeah, I almost forgot about putting the band on. Wow. Oh she's so sweet. I really, really like that one. That was a good comeback after losing the other one. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. LOL confetti pop. I haven't done that, the birthday ones yet. Um, confetti one for ages, so it's quite nice to get like a bigger one. I think the bigger dolls are better than the smaller ones. Okay, so where are you, my sweet girl? You are. Oh, this one here. Holidays. Holidays. And she put in the water and she goes from the eyes. Oh, December. Oh, that's really cool. <clears throat> they actually got the whole calendar month for the birthdays, but this one is December, which is nice. And you are the heart, and you are fabulous. She's fabulous, guys. She's the heart, fabulous. So there we go. Oh, that's a really nice collection. Imagine getting every single month. Isn't that sweet? Love it. Right, I'll round it all up and I'll show you. And that it is it. Okay, so this is everything that was unboxed. We have our uh, bubble surprise little girl here, which is really cute. <clears throat> I think she's really cute. And we did the magazines. And the magazines had a whole heap of stationery bits in it, and there was five items per bag. But I thought the items that came out were really cool and actually I will use them like the notebook and the pens for sure, definitely. Um, and the other one was like scrunchie, the mirror, pen. Um, but yeah, really, overall I thought that was quite nice actually. And then we had our little loss of our little girl that went down the plug hole when she was around. And she would have been this one here, that was definitely her. Um, so that one's gone. And we did this one here, December, uh, LOL, and there's a little party bag. And I was, I'm quite impressed with that. I really, really like that doll. And I think that is my favourite. And after the loss of the other one, which went down the sink, <laughs> uh, that was a good comeback coming, um, getting um, the December one and revealing her. So yeah, that's everything. What's your favourite, guys? Let me know. Um, after this lesson, I, after this video, I'm just going to stay clear from LOLs for just a wee while and I'll come back with some more of them at a later later stage, I think. But yeah, my favourite's definitely this one. I think it's great. All the colour changing and the bubble changing ones, for me, are just, uh, meh, you know, meh, I have to say meh. <laughs> and I do like the stationery, so yeah. Overall, not a bad unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!